Have you heard the latest news about Cisco certification exams? Well, there's a critical update that Anthony Sequeira and I, and I are actually gonna to present to you right now. So let's go ahead and bring Anthony in as we get started here. So Anthony, the very fact is we have exciting news. Why don't you go ahead and let everybody that's watching in on what that exciting news is. is. Yeah, I'll tell you, you talk about a tweet making my entire month of April 2020, Ronnie. So I, I fired up Twitter today and I looked and there it was. We can now take most of the Cisco certification exams from home. That's right. We can take it in a proctored environment, but in our home or our home office and what great news because so many of us have been uh, under you know stay at home restrictions during this pandemic that we are dealing with here in April of 2020 and you know everyone's like hey great time to study and i'm like yeah it's a great time to study but it's not doing me much good if i can't take the exam so we now have the ability to do the pearson view testing for our cisco exams right at home. And this announcement was made uh, on April 14th of 2020, and it's effective April 15th <laughs> of 2020. So that's super exciting. Uh, as I record this, I could also be taking an exam right now. Yeah, it, Actually, I couldn't. They would detect that Ronnie's here, yep. and they would shut me down right <laughs> away. Yeah, no, today is actually going to be that 15th of April that we're talking about. And it's neat that it coincides right with the same announcement as CompTIA did just a few months ago. So at least everybody seems to be following in the trend. So uh, let, let's take a look at their website and let's see what they officially announced here. It actually tells you right here, we're actually enabling uh, the, uh, the certification written exams online beginning today. And it's already crowded up so much. Uh, when I checked it a little bit earlier ago, Anthony, uh, on Pearson View's website, they're saying, look, you're gonna have to give us some time. So apparently everybody's already started to jump on this already. So you do see where they're saying you don't have to wait any longer, which is fine. You still have the active certifications that are being extended, of course, uh, for the next six months, uh, if you actually have that uh, process coming up. But it's actually fairly nice, and it actually seems kind of neat that we can do this on, uh, at home. Now, Anthony, even though I'm used to actually taking an exam at one of the testing sites that's out there, I have not actually taken one of these online exams before. So, Anthony, I think you've done this before. Can you tell us a little bit about how that process is going to go and, and how does it feel when you're actually taking one on, on at home? I got to tell you something. Um, you know, you would think that your stress levels would go down. <laughs> they go way up. Okay. So I just want to prepare everybody for that. Okay. They, your stress levels are going to actually go up a little bit here. Uh, as Ronnie will walk us through in a moment, they have a great tool that we definitely want you to use, which is going to test your computer at home to make sure it can handle this whole experience. They're gonna test your webcam, which has to be there. They're gonna test your microphone. They're gonna test your system itself. Then you have to install an agent. You have to install software on your machine that's gonna enable this. Uh, the At the time of your appointment, you have to like show your whole body on the camera. You have to then show them everything about the room. They had me take my laptop and literally bring it underneath the table to make sure that I hadn't placed notes and stuff underneath the table. They made me look at the ceiling. Um, mm. During my testing with them, my Amazon Echo went off in the corner and she was like, I don't know, what do you need help with? And I was like, oh my gosh, I just got busted for that. <laughs> so you are gonna be like really sanitizing the testing environment and it can be pretty stressful. Think about internet bandwidth. How many of us have been like, oh, the internet's down, you know, thanks to overuse or whatever. So we wanna make sure that we're gonna have good, strong internet for the entire duration of this testing. It's pretty stressful. But listen, the great news is we can actually get some testing done. Even though it might put a little bit more you know, stress on us, we can at least get her done. And uh, super excited about this. Let me think if there's anything else I wanted to kind of um, make folks, oh, hopefully this doesn't happen to you. This was my first experience with it and I was so angry, I was seething. So 
I did return though and do it for more exams. So you notice like it made me angry, but not enough to not take advantage of this convenience. But what happened was I was doing a Juniper exam in this test at home through Pearson View. And the person said, um, I said, what about my scratch paper? And they said, no. Oh. <laughs> and I said, whoa, 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 whoa. I said, you know, hold on now. I absolutely need scratch paper for this test. Like that's what Juniper tells us, you know, it's going to be required for the stuff I'm doing. And they said, no. Mm. And I swear to you, <laughs> really, I'm, I'm, everyone knows I try and always be as honest as humanly possible to a fault. Um, I failed that test because I did not have scratch paper. I, I am not kidding. And uh, that was really super annoying. So be sure to clarify stuff like that right up front with your proctor that's going to be online with you. Just be like, you know, wait a minute, talk to your supervisor. You know, this is just not right. I, I have to be, if you're in an exam where you know scratch paper is going to be required. So um, watch out for that one. But other than that, little nasty experience I had, uh, it, it, it does work and you'll be super excited when you get your passing score report. Now, Ronnie, you had pointed out to me, and I'm so glad you did, boy, oh boy, one of the things that can eliminate a lot of stress here on Cisco testing at home is having your machine checked, pre-checked, to make sure it can do it. Yeah, so Anthony, let's go ahead and take a look at that particular feature so that we can show everybody what's going on. So here it is, this is from Pearson View's website and that's where you're gonna to have to go to register. But notice there's a link here that says check for system readiness. And when I do that, I can see that I'm at uh, Pearson View and it essentially says at this point, right now check-in times may be up to 30 minutes. And so the increased demand has already begun to happen inside the Cisco Systems uh, site on Pearson View. And when you scroll down, notice that she gives you these three steps on how you can actually register for this. So if you happen to be in a country though that's not offering this, just kind of realize it may be coming to you, but if you don't see this, you might not be able to actually get that checked out. So we're, we're not exactly sure about all the details there, but just kind of realize that too. So what you want to do is of course, then select test this system. And once you that, that will go through all the tests that essentially Anthony was talking about. So here we'll go ahead and test my system and we'll actually show you some of the things. Like check this box, confirm you're using computer and location that you'll be testing from on the exam day. And that's gonna be key. So uh, what it's actually telling us, right, is that we can't take a laptop and just go and check the system out. It says use it from that particular location. You'll have to copy that access code. Then there's the application that uh, Anthony was talking about as we go through here. And it even says that on Mac uh, systems, you also have to change some settings and the microphone and camera. Uh, as well, and you might have to do some other things. So I'm not gonna worry about going through that particular step at this point, but you definitely wanna make sure that you walk through those steps to ensure that your computer system is actually up and ready. So Anthony, on your testing, are you saying that, as you said, there's a proctor there, are they actually watching you through the entire exam as well? And can they interact yes. with you if they need to? Yes, oh. so what they'll do, <laughs> what they'll say is um, we're watching you, oh. which is kind of creepy. <laughs> And, um, and then they'll say, uh, if you need me, like you can call out my name kind of thing, but if they're not actively listening to your session at that moment, they'll miss that. So they actually give you like a phone number that you, oh no, it's a chat box, that's okay. right. Because your phone can't be anywhere near you for obvious reasons, right? So yeah, there's, there's a, a chat way to like, really make sure you get their attention. And then if they need to, they'll like let you get up and get your phone so that they can call you. But then of course your phone's gonna have to go back out of sight. So like I said, can be pretty stressful. And Ronnie, you've really helped to take a lot of that stress away with the, with the pre-check there. And by the way, speaking about stress, just one more thing here. Yeah. Ronnie, you pointed out that they have the big red like warning that we could be as late as 30 minutes to check you in. So just think about that element of stress for a minute. You've set aside two hours to take some exam, let's say an RC, and you're gonna take your an RC exam, you've blocked out the two hours, but now there's like this 30 minute delay to check you in. So you would be sitting there like, oh my gosh, now we're at two and a half hours. So like, 
yeah, just take a deep breath. Block and out then, some time. You know, yep. And just keep in your mind that this is a real privilege that we've been given the ability to take these tests at home. And when you think about it more like a privilege, then I think it'll be a little easier to take the very invasive and like kind of treating you like a criminal approach that they're going to take to counteract you cheating your way through the exam from home. All right, Anthony, thank you for that. And you can also see right here in our courses section of our webpage, we actually have, well, seven of the actual certifications uh, courses that uh, we've created over time that are now also ready for this online testing, okay? So if you actually need some additional help, please make sure you check that out as well. All right, Anthony, any last words before we sign off? No, I'm, I'm just glad you pointed that out, Ronnie. How exciting. There's plenty of great courses that our students can be taking during this time and then take the test. Seven of those in the library. That's so exciting. There are a few exams that they are not offering this for. One of the first things that Ronnie did, he's studying for the CCIE. He tried to schedule his CCIE lab at his home in Gainesville, <laughs> Florida. He invited myself, Don Pazette, uh, Brian McGann of INE, <laughs> Scott Morris. He invited uh, a whole bunch of uh, people to come by his house for yeah. a cocktail party. Oh, yeah. Very strange. No <laughs> CCIE lab exam at home, Ronnie. Sorry. Oh, well. <laughs> well, Ronnie, thank you so much for helping us out today with this critical update where we have a big change, and that is to help accommodate us during the times of this pandemic. Cisco is allowing the taking of the online proctored exam from your home or from your office or from your home office location. So thank you so much for joining Ronnie Wong and myself, Anthony Sequera, here at IT Pro TV for this critical update. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss these critical updates in the future.